Music. Hey, today it's all digital. It's been that way for some period of time now. You can go to the internet, get your songs, you can distribute them to your friends, and everything is wonderful. Or is it? What happens if the owner of the copyright to that music comes against you and says, hey, you violated copyright by sharing this with your friends? Well, that brings us to this week's case. It involves a real individual, a woman living in Minnesota. And this young lady had obtained 24 copyrighted songs, and she then distributed to them to her friends on a web-based file sharing system. Friends got it for free. Everybody's happy. Record company said, hey, sweetheart, you can't do this. You can't do this. You do this, and you are stealing money from us because you're pirating the music. So music companies really upset and they sued her took her to federal court because this is a copyright issue it's federal law took her to federal court in minnesota and got a jury verdict a jury verdict against her in the amount of 1.5 million dollars one and a half million dollars she said whoa this is bad news you know, I'm just kind of a regular person here, and now I've got this $1.5 million judgment staring me in the face. Her attorneys tried to get the music companies to reduce the award after the trial was finished, and they said, no deal, we want the $1.5 million. Well, through her attorneys, the woman went into federal court and made a motion that said, this is unconscionable, this is beyond what's reasonable, this is oppressive. The award, the jury award, the verdict is much bigger than anything that's reasonable to what took place here. I only took 24 songs. Well, the judge heard that motion and the judge agreed with her. And the judge said, you're right. This kind of verdict is oppressive, particularly by virtue of the fact that there were only 24 songs. You downloaded them for personal use. You distributed them to your friends without any anticipation of making a profit. You weren't making any money on this deal. So therefore, I find that this award, this judgment is way too high and I'm going to reduce it. I'm going to reduce it to only $2,250 per song. Well, when you do the math, that works out to over $54,000. That's a long way from $1.5 million, but it's still $54,000 that she now owes the record companies. All right, so what's the lesson of this case? One, record companies today are becoming very, very aggressive in enforcing their copyrights and trying to do away with piracy. Be aware of that, be aware of that. This is a gal who only downloaded 24 songs and distributed them to her friends. Okay, so that's number one lesson. Number two lesson is when awards of this nature come along, there are things that can be done. A lot of people aren't aware of this, but many times even when a jury awards a large amount of money and a judgment against somebody, the judge can reduce that award. And here we saw an example of the judge reducing it. He said it was just too high. It didn't make any sense given what took place here. But as to this young lady, $54,000 is probably as large as $1.5 million, and she's going to have problems for the rest of her life. The real lesson here is don't get into that situation. All right, we bring you this case as we bring you cases every week so you understand how the law works. I'm David Allen.